Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now Baby I took a half and she took the whole thing, slow down And I'm outside hanging with my friends Let's go! I do! Okay, let's go down Okay, you ready? Growing on me, they're growing on me. We made it, y'all. We about to go into the hotel. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. So, where do we go? The bathroom. That's cute. Really nice. This hotel was so beautiful y'all it was amazing so many great opportunities to take pictures I'm so glad that we chose this hotel it was great customer service as well are we what are we doing for food they said there's a food court upstairs so this is not sponsored at all y'all but I just want to showcase this beautiful hotel again they actually had a food court within the hotel, y'all, as you can see, and it was stunning. Oh! Oh, now you can record. Yeah, she's ready now, y'all. This is cute. Cute vibe. That's kind of scary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not recording you, sir. I'm recording me. <laughs> Three, two, one. Ew, okay. Bruh, I'm dead. I bet your little pussy wanna look like me. I bet your little brother wanna fuck on me. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so previously you could see in the last clip that the line was long, it was so hot, and we basically waited like an hour at least to get into this museum, y'all. So it was it was hot. No. It's so hot. <laughs> no. <laughs> so once we got in, it was a great experience. Um the wait was long, but it was I would say semi worth it, um, to be honest. Only because it was a little bit smaller than I thought, but it was definitely a great experience because there were so many different exhibits to look at. It gave an authentic look at T.I., who is the um, founder of the Trap Museum, if you didn't know. Um, and it also gave a look at other rappers and just the lifestyle and how these rappers lived and how they came up and were famous and icons today. So... I enjoyed it a lot and it was also great for taking pictures they had a lot of like interactive exhibits where things looked very real um, as you can see the trap kitchen and it was just a really fun experience to go a great tourist 
attraction if you've never been but make sure that you you know be prepared there may be a long wait um and yeah hello stranger it's been a minute since we last kicked it and by the way just got in town and i won't let you me this cloud all in the sky, ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often, but since recruiting isn't an option, due to unusual rain and thunder, baby, I wonder, baby, I wonder, would you just put your sweats on, put your sweats on? I got the plug, I made the call for me mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya Let me lay a great time on ya Don't hesitate, no, don't you mm -hmm. Just say <laughs> She was making it mad? No, I can see I'm not worried about it Imagine falling down from here You're Why would you want to talk about that, girl? <laughs> we don't plug negative energy in the air Wait, 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 Naya spraying everything down as you should because this um, monkey bites whatever monkey pot's going on. Okay, this is cute. Look at the aww. Yeah, stop spraying, girl. Oh my gosh, which um hotel is that one? That's cute. Looks like a castle. It does. Wait, you can floor y'all. Yeah. yeah, that looks dangerous. But they let Mr. Sir over there go in the balcony. We made it. Finally. Oh, yeah, I was about to be mad yeah. if she said that the room wasn't ready. I was about to be really mm -hmm. mad, bro. Because it's didn't already she say? Thing. Didn't she technically say that then she got it ready? Yeah, I think she heard us saying. What's up, y'all? We are back in the hotel and I am about to take a shower. We were at the Trap Museum. It was really, really fun, but we were hot and sweaty waiting in line for an hour. So we're about to all shower so we can get ready for a fancy, elegant dinner. So I'm gonna take a shower and get ready and show y'all what I'm wearing. I'm very excited to take some pics. I already took some fire pics at the Trap Museum. So yeah, stay tuned for what we do tonight. I have no idea where we're going for a restaurant, but we're gonna get into something. So. Stay tuned. Please give me a good lady. One eye looks definitely like much thicker and darker than the other eye. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey, Tiana's vlog. Hey. Hello. It's the eye roll. <laughs> no, not the eye roll. Wait, so we tell them good. what we're doing now. Going to Slutty Vegan. Slutty Vegan. We're, so we're gonna sluts be sluts for vegan. vegan. Oh, whoa. <laughs> sluts whoa. for vegans. I don't know about that. Okay, that's kind of appropriate. Um, <laughs> we so sorry, extended our stay as well. So, yeah. Impulsive decisions. Even though we thought it out. It's okay. <laughs> It'll all work Definitely out. Didn't. Stay tuned, y'all. <laughs> Outfit check. Shirt, tangerine, pants, fashion nova, shoes, Tory, shades, I don't know, earrings from two one, bracelet, Pandora, ring, Amazon, necklace for two one. Period. Period. Nose ring, hair store. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where any of this stuff is from. I'm not gonna lie, but probably Ross or Forever 21. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not me. I'm just dropping my phone.
So for our next destination in Atlanta, we went to Slutty Vegan and it is a vegan spot that serves burgers and fries and things of that nature. And it was such a vibe. They were playing music and it was just very lit. It wasn't my cup of tea because I don't really like vegan food, but for it being vegan, it tasted pretty good. Your boy got the full body do rag out. Chop the roof and let it smoke it. I got diamonds to win since he's sliding both in. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas trip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight. Fuck a night, I keep the koala in my shorty bag. You know she wanna mind when she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy, she not a toy. Keep it coming, you a rider. This that roll myself a day and count my figure shit. This that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit. If I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit. Well, you can do what you wanna, live how you wanna, spit what you wanna, be who you wanna be. We all stutter till I die. update we are switching rooms so we can stay another night and yeah so we're packing up all our stuff then we're gonna go get breakfast and go to the museum and do some different things so stay tuned what my thigh is Go. My lady. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. That is pretty. I'm so hungry. I'm ready to eat. Ooh, I'm gonna get a smoothie. Uh -huh. They have the good, the best smoothies. Hey y'all, so in this clip we were walking to Einstein Bagels, but it ended up being closed unfortunately, so we went to another location after this, and that is where we enjoyed breakfast. I love me some, some Einstein Bagels y'all, so it was really great and delicious, and that's what we did for breakfast. So after breakfast, we went to the Atlantic Contemporary Museum and it was a nice vibe. It was great for taking pictures, it was free, and they also had a little cute gift shop that you could purchase little things from. Um, so I definitely recommend. <laughs> this is how some of those the girls here be looking. <laughs> want a picture? Oh, well, that looks nice with your outfit. Yeah, it was nice. Oh, wait, you want to take a picture of me? Oh, no. Not at all. Thank you, girl. I can take gotcha. you. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Okay. I'm having too much fun with this. It is a cute shop.
Look. We both have similar vibes. <laughs> I'm you know if I'm on way back. But I have to fix my career because I got Botanical gardens is essentially a garden place that you have to pay to get into, but it's inside of a park in Atlanta, and it was really nice, but we were hot, y'all. She was hot. We was all hot. She was not for it. I was not for it, because um, we had to walk a while to get to the actual garden, but we ended up leaving because it was too expensive. It was like $27 per person to get in. We was like, no. It's too hot, we're not going. So we decided to go shopping for later that night. So as you can see, we're in Forever 21 now. So that's just what happened. Just to give y'all a little insight. Okay, enjoy the rest. They're fresh. Can't mess up a corn dog. Oh, that's so cute! Why the toilet sound like that? Mm -hmm. This is the second room, y'all. Oh my goodness. Mm. We hey, finally God, made it. Cute little fountain area in the swings. Aw, those are gonna be cute pictures. Cute though. Pretty, wow. Oh, that's a bar. All right, I keep pausing y'all, but you know I gotta put you on. So this restaurant was really cute, really fancy, but it was also pricey. So all we ordered was appetizers and dessert, but that banana pudding was exceptional, okay? It tasted homemade. Secondly, I want to say that after dinner, that is when things took a slight turn in our experience because it just got really crazy, y'all. We ended up going to a club, and y'all, it was really lit. But let me tell you, we got tried because, well, Tipsy Me will tell the story, but just a warning. <laughs> the Starlink. The Starlink. Tried <laughs> for every damn thing. Every damn thing. Okay, let's tell you what. Let's tell you guys what happened. The security guard tried our friend because yeah. they charged her for being underage, but they didn't charge her until we left and she pulled her aside and said, oh, you owe me money. Right. Because I let you into the club. That is messed up. And wouldn't even let her like tell us what was going on. I'm like, Bianca, what's going on, what's going on? She <coughs> wouldn't tell me. The security guard pushing her into the, what's the name? Yes, and she got piercing us all on her face. Like, it was scary. I, we didn't know. We not from here. I don't know. But that, that was messed was up. The dog was scammer. She was taking everybody's baby. She didn't care about anyone in the club at all. <clears throat> she only wanted $40. And that's that on that. Messed up. We not going there again. Ever. But it was pretty cool. How would you rate? How would you rate the club itself? But negative twenty point five. Besides, besides the, the club itself, on a scale from one to ten, I say it's five. It's mid. It's yeah. mid. They weren't really playing that much lit music, so yeah. And 
it's like pretty much like seating and sections and whatnot. Yeah, it's and not enough like, space to dance. Right, and you gotta really like pay money. Like, but the know. club we were supposed to go to was closed, y'all. So for those security yeah. guys, that was. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I that was fine, and was some fine. of them was ugly as hell, like that famous lady that ripped my best friend off and tried to touch her. <sighs> and kind of. It's giving. I, no, I'm not gonna lie. When we first saw her, I was like, mm. she looked like I feel like she could be like. Why I feel like she could be like a trafficker type. But she kind of. She touched me too. I'm like, oh. no, but it's the way she was like this. These jeans, and they're just like, oh, can I take this off? And I was like, as long as you have drawers under, and they're just like, oh, I don't. How are you gonna wear jeans? time last night but this breakfast spot was really really good it was called thumbs up and that was honestly the best french toast i've ever had or experienced so it was amazing um so after breakfast we walked around a bit and my friend tanaya had the great suggestion of us visiting martin luther king's birth house which actually was right around the corner from the restaurant so we literally walked there and it was so beautiful to see the houses and everything and they basically preserved a lot of the homes from back in the day when martin luther king used to live there and it was very historical they had plaques with informative information on there so it was really just an inspiring moment to be in the presence of where martin luther king used to live especially this one that one's cool i think on you okay. harper house Oh, Booker T. Walker. As oh. you guys can see. Hey. Some of the homes that they preserve. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when they get older. <laughs> it's the fact that we have, some people have grandma. We have to walk up and then. Yeah, the ones. All these trees, I feel a spider web on me. So this exhibit that we went to was really just groundbreaking. It went through the life of Dr. Martin Luther King and all of his accomplishments. And it was truly emotional and triggering just to relive history, basically. But it just taught me that it's really important to give back, be courageous, be a leader, and not to just live for yourself, but live for other people. Um, Martin Luther King was heavy heavily spiritual he was a godly man and it just inspires me to be there for others like he was Martin Luther King thing and it was very very 
very emotional, but a great experience. So yeah. Until